Defense News in a Nutshell, your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in MINDEF and the SEF in under 5 minutes. Here's what happened from the 30th of November to 13th December. Minister for Defense Dr. Ng Eng Hen was in the United States earlier this month where he signed the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement or DCA with his U.S. defense counterpart, Mr. Ashton Carter. The Enhanced DCA will see new cooperation in areas such as humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, cyber defense, biosecurity, and public communications. It also strengthens cooperation in the military, policy, strategic, and technology spheres and non-conventional security areas such as piracy and transnational terrorism. During his visit, Dr. Ng also met with other officials and congressional leaders and delivered a speech at an event organized by the Center for a New American Security. The central theme was that the U.S. presence in the Asia-Pacific was vital for regional stability, but the U.S. alone cannot ensure continued peace. There is therefore a need to build greater strategic trust among all nations in the Asia-Pacific. From Washington, D.C., Dr. Ng traveled to Phoenix, Arizona to witness the Singapore Armed Forces executing an integrated strike mission in Exercise Forging Saber. The exercise saw 600 personnel from the SCF and assets such as the F-15SG, an F-16 C&D fighter aircraft, AH-64D Apache, and CH-47 Chinook helicopters, and Heron-1 unmanned aerial vehicles from the Republic of Singapore Air Force took part in a complex strike mission on multiple mobile targets. This was the first time that the Heron-1 was taking part in exercise forging Sabre. There are great strides that we have made over these past 10 years and uh, it's because we do it constantly just with regularity and the access to the training that makes a difference and I'm very proud of the SAF for their professionalism and their hard work. Training in the U.S. allows the SCF to build up its operational capabilities and readiness. The U.S.'s support for exercise forging Sabre reflects the excellent and long-standing defense ties between Singapore and the U.S. Senior Minister of State for Defense Dr. Mohammad Maliki bin Osman witnessed the latest technologies adopted in the Republic of Singapore Navy's training system when he visited the Maritime Training and Doctrine Command, or MTDC. He felt that the learning and training environment plays an important role in building up the capabilities and instilling the values and principles required of every serviceman and women. As the central agency for training in the RSN, the MTDC uses simulators to maximize training opportunities such as the full mission ship handling simulator and damage control trainer. And the capable simulators that we have ensures that our servicemen are given the right training and skill set uh, in various scenarios uh, and test them on decision-making skills, test them on uh, even core skills of basic uh, naval soldiering as critical. Senior Minister of State for Defense Ong Yi Kang reviewed the last Basic Military Training or BMT Graduation Parade for 2015, where he acknowledged the contributions of previous generations of national servicemen to Singapore's defense and affirmed the continued role the National Service played in securing Singapore's peace and security. The SAF is a professional, strong and credible armed force, well respected around the world. It has been the bedrock of Singapore's defense and security for the past 50 years and help provide the safe and stable environment for us and our loved ones to live in, to grow up, to grow old in. This did not come about by chance. The threats today are different from the days when our pioneers have to defend Singapore. Last month, 130 lives lost in the coordinated terrorist attacks that took place in Paris. Hence, as soldiers and even more as Singaporeans, we must all remain vigilant and strong as one people to withstand and recover from any threats that might come our way. A total of 4,258 recruits from BMTC and the 4th Battalion Singapore Infantry Regiment graduated at the parade. Congratulations to all graduates! For more details on these stories, visit mindef.gov.sg. Now let's check out what's buzzing on our social media channels. The Future of Us exhibition is an immersive and multi-sensory experience that offers a glimpse into the possibilities of how Singaporeans could work, live and play in the future and what the SAF of the future might be like too. So head on down to Gardens by the Bay from now till 8th March 2016, 9am to 9pm daily. Admission to the exhibition is free. Log on to Dr. Rung's Facebook page for more details. While there, catch ME2 Jason Chi in action at the 8th ASEAN Para Games. Representing Singapore, Jason went on to make history by winning a team gold medal and an individual silver medal in the ASEAN Para Games. Well done, Jason. You make us proud. 
Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through one of our social media channels. This is Mike from Power98 signing off.